Hello my friends, I am Tiberio and this video is all about Epson uh, Expression Premium ET7750 white format uh, super tank printer. I have this printer for 4 months now, I know what it's capable of, I own also um, other Epson EcoTank printers like ET2650, like uh, 37, ET3750, which I still have it. I have also a review between uh, this printer and the ET3750 and another review between uh, a, a comparison between ET2650 and uh, ET3750. If you want, you'll find it in the description below. Today it's all about uh, this printer over here. I will uh, cover all its uh, quirks and features. I will uh, go over the ink. I will speak about the paper, and uh, I will give you my overall thoughts on it. I don't want to waste uh, your time, and uh, if you don't want to go forward with this uh, video, I can uh, tell you from the beginning that this is the best printer I ever own and uh, we are speaking right now about the EcoTank printers but I I also own uh, a Pro Stylus uh, 3880 which is um, a 17 to 22 wide format uh, printer um, and um, let me tell you that one is double the price of, uh, of this one but is not doing not even um, for my workflow I would say that this one is the perfect printer till now it's 2019 and I didn't found till now other better printer than this one <clears throat> so if you want to stop here yeah buy it it is a good printer and if you want to know more about it and if it's if it is for you yeah stand by and uh, let's uh, cover everything Okay, so let's start first of all uh, and let's speak about the look of the, the printer. Uh, in comparison with other Epson, Eco, Epson EcoTank uh, printers, I realized, I saw that uh, the materials, the plastic used on, uh, on making, on manufacturing this uh, printer, they are uh, better, better quality materials. On top of here, the, the scanner um, um, door, it's uh, it's flexible, so it looks it looks good. Besides that, you can see also the the texture of the the plastic looks very good. It's shiny and uh, yeah, it looks good. Uh, on the front panel, there are not many differences. Uh, let's say there are the the buttons. The buttons on uh, other printers, other EcoTank printers, the the regular uh, printers are um, like touch screen but not that flat let's say in this one yeah you have physical buttons which you can hear then click for me is better uh, i like it more uh, like that the screen the screen is the same uh, the, the difference in, in screens is that uh, i don't see any uh, maybe this one is uh, the resolution of this screen is a little bit uh, better but um, doesn't make any difference because everything that I'm uh, I'm printing on these uh, printers comes from Photoshop. So I'm not looking too much on uh, on the screen of the the printer. Maybe I'm um, looking on the screen when there is an error or jamming um, a paper inside. Speaking about jamming the the paper, you don't find this uh, stuff on uh, 7750. I had like only one jammed paper inside because the one corner it was banded but besides that uh, I would not complain on uh, other on other printers like 3750 and 2650 the lower um, category of uh, printers from uh, Epson it can happen the reason uh, it's happening is that the other printer in comparison with this one um, they are not capable of uh, handling um, heavy, uh, heavier papers. So, if uh, you are using like a 64 pounds paper on other printer, it will uh, it will jam. Instead of this one, I had no problem of uh, using um, 64 pounds uh, paper. If you are speaking about the looks of the the printer, we should also I, I should also mention that. 
uh, is big, but is big inefficiently, let's say. Uh, it's big because it has to be big, it prints uh, 11 by 17 uh, um, papers. And the reason I'm saying that is uh, big inefficiently is that the tray in the back, that, that um, the tray for the, um, the big paper, the 11 by 14 or 11 by 17, is, uh, is staying like um, this uh, degree, like 30 degrees or something, instead of staying like 80 or 75 degrees, it will uh, be more efficient on um, a desk. I feel like Epson, if you're, here, if you're looking at this um, review, maybe you can uh, change something in, in the future with the next generation. Who knows? Um, another thing that um, I find it, um, I should mention, is about the, the tray over here. Uh, this tray should be always be uh, outside. All the, when you are cl closing the, um, the the printer, it will not be able to to print one because everything is covered over here. Even if it not be it will not be covered, you always it will be an uh, error on um, on the screen saying that you have to manually. Uh, Push the, the pull the, the tray uh, outside in order to be able to, to print. It will stop, so it will not uh, doing any uh, strange things. It will appear on uh, on the screen the message: please uh, pull out the tray manually. It's the thing of um, Epson. Let's go with the cons a little bit because um, I found also uh, reaching at this point. I want to mention other stuff. On other printers, you are able to. Um, to put to to fill the, um, the the bottom tray with paper. V also with this one, obviously. But when it's printing, you are not able to do this. So when it's printing and you want to change the paper, maybe you have like a receipt to print, and then you want to to print the photo, you have to change the paper. So changing the paper will make stop the printer. It will not make any damages in the the printer in the printing process but it will stop you have to know that uh, so anytime you are changing the paper while is uh, printing you should know that the printer will uh, will stop because as you see there is not not too much space over here just to this one being uh, all on uh, outside how can you go on the bottom to to change the um, uh, to replace the paper it's um, uh, let's say that this one is not a good thing that I uh, I found on on this printer. Not a big deal, but there is something to to be improved on on the the printer. Even if it's my uh, I find this like the perfect printer for me for what I'm doing. Um, it's not perfect. Obviously, there are some improvements to to be made. It has two trays over here. One is used also for it, it's able also to print on CDs. I don't know who is printing uh, on CDs right now. Who's using CDs right now in 2019? But uh, if you are still using uh, CDs, yeah, you have this option to to print on on top of uh, the CD or DVD. It can it come uh, with it comes with uh, with tray. You can put the um, the, the CD, the DVD in, and uh, you can do the design. Again, not my thing, but it's there, and you can uh, always use it. If you are speaking about the the features, I will have all to mention also the scanner unit. Um, nothing uh, special to the scanner unit. I'm not using it uh, a lot, but it is there, and you can use it. There is also another um, SD uh, port that you can uh, use it to print it. I didn't use it till now. I will not use it because I'm all my uh, my work comes from Photoshop. Everything I'm doing in Photoshop, I'm printing from Photoshop. So um, this is not an, an option for me because I will um, I will risk. Also with the USB over here, USB or SD card, uh, the target is the same. They will print from SD card or from um, flash drive. The thing is that. If you have a photo uh, which is taken from your phone, let's say, uh, and the paper is different, it will be um, it will 
go automatically to, to print on the page and you will have to cut it and the stuff. It will not be the same. Only, it will work only if you are doing the, um, the project on Photoshop with the exact uh, dimension of the, the papers. Uh, and you are giving the, the project to someone else and they can, uh, can print it. In this case, yeah, it can, I, can, I can see the, the usage of, uh, of this one, but um, otherwise um, I would not uh, use it. But it's me. For others, yeah, it is the option over there, you can always uh, use it. Like all Ecotank printers, this one has also, uh, it's also advertised that comes with uh, ink for two years in, uh, in the box. It's relative because uh, if you are using if you are using this printer only to print photos, it will not um, you will not reach the um, the the ink for two years. So um, I'm not saying that it's a lie. You can do it, of course. You can do it on a normal usage, but uh, I replaced the first uh, cartridges, the first set of inks after. Uh, one month and a half, something like that. But again, I'm printing a lot. I'm not the. I'm an average uh, consumer, but I'm not, not an average uh, printer user. I'm printing a lot, a lot. So, um, and I'm printing photos. I'm printing my artwork, which uh, contains a lot of color. Maybe, and I'm not maybe. This one is making a really uh, difference. Um, I can. I, uh, someone asked me in, uh, in the previous uh, video if I know how much I can print with one set of cartridges. I didn't make this uh, um, count, but I'm pretty sure it's over 1,000, way over 1,000, maybe 2,000. Mostly, 99% of uh, the usage of this printer is uh, printing photos. Not even photos, they are, uh, it's my artwork. Let me actually show you what I'm printing and uh, then you can um, make yourself an idea how much ink it uses in the process to, to do it. This is uh, what I'm, uh, I'm printing. The unique designs on... Uh, on presentation paper, there are athletes. All of these are requests from all over the United States. A sugar skull. I don't know if you can see the the sparkles on uh, on them. Anyway, it's about the, the printing. Uh, as you can see, the colors are very saturated. This is Hulk. And let me show you another one. I made it last night. Bam. 16 by uh, by 20 the mat and the, the the paper is 11 by 17 if you want to see all my uh, my work you can um, check out in the description below the the link of my etsy shop i'm doing also custom artwork if you have a favorite athlete and uh, you want to to be done uh, it will be done in maximum 72 hours just ask me uh, and uh, yeah sure <laughs> it will be done in terms of quality of the print, I would say that I'm very super impressed. As I told you at the beginning, I also have uh, another professional um, printer, which is doing amazing jobs, but because this one is, is more economical, I prefer this one way more. And the quality of the prints of uh, this printer, guys, believe me, it's really amazing. It's really amazing. It blows my mind. Look at this one. It's without the sparkles. I don't know if you can see the, the saturation of the color and the blacks, how black the black are, blacks are. Um, the inks... Let, let's speak about the paper first. Let's speak about the paper. Let me show you what paper I'm, uh, I'm using because doesn't matter what printer you have. It really doesn't matter. If you are using shitty paper... Um, bad quality paper, it will not make any difference. It's the same as a photo camera. If you are using a photo camera with a bad lenses, it's useless. Doesn't matter how many, how much, how your thousands of uh, dollars, 
put in that camera, if you are using the bed lens, uh, it will not make the difference. And it's the same with the printers. If you are using bed paper or uh, low quality paper, it will it will look bad. It will look bad. Use quality paper. Let me show you what I am using.